Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are learning to tie a knotless knot for carp fishing. Now, this knot is one of the first knots a carp angler will learn because it's used to tie simple hair rigs. But today we're going to show you it can be used to tie a lot more rigs than just the hair rig. So let's get right into it here. So you're going to want to take any sort of carp fishing hook to tie this one. It uh, doesn't really matter which one, whichever hook you have on hand. So you take your chosen hook link and you slide it through from the back to the front of the eye of the hook and pull it down. If you're tying a hair rig, you can decide how long you want that hair to be. Um, and then you simply take the line at the front, pin it down at the back with your thumb and start to wrap it around the shank. So I usually like to wrap it about six times. I find that gives the proper hook angle for good rig mechanics when those fish pick up your bait. And then you simply take this end once it's wrapped around and feed it back through from the back to the front again of the eye of the hook. Now it's important to go to the back to the front. Like I said, for rig mechanics, you can see when that fish picks up your bait, that will be a very aggressive hook angle. Now you can adjust that hook angle quickly with the knotless knot just by creating more wraps. More than six, some guys like to take it down right till it's across from the um, point of the hook and that will just create a more aggressive angle or less of an angle on that rig. So that's a simple hair rig knotless knot. Um, and as you can see here, for those of you that are new to carp rigs and getting into tying them, this knotless knot can be used for more rigs as well. I use it for the German rig. You simply tie it the same, but you'll just cut that tag end off, blob the end, That'll be a very strong knotless knot. I like to use either a kicker or some shrink tube over the line just to hold it down. And you simply add a bait screw and a hook stop onto your hook. And that's basically your German rig. Um, likewise, if you have mono or fluorocarbon material and you want to tie a slip D rig, these knots can kind of look complicated to beginners, but it's basically a knotless knot. You simply take another hook, take some fluorocarbon material, Feed it from the back to the front, pull that down through, leave a bit of a tag end a couple inches. Uh, once again, wrap that around the shank about six times and feed it from the back to the front. And then simply, you don't cut that tag end off like you do with a German rig or you leave it for a hair rig. You simply attach a bait swivel and feed that back through from the back to the front and you can adjust it to whatever length you want that slip D to be and then simply cut the tag end off that's sticking out the front and blob it down and that's not going to pop back through and that will hold your bait securely. So, three simple rigs that can be tied with the knotless knot for carp fishing. Hope this helped you guys out. Show you beginners that it's quite easy to tie some of these more advanced rigs just with a simple knotless knot. Thanks for watching.